Hi again. Firstly, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to everyone who responded to my previous video. It's really good to know that I'm not just speaking to myself here. I also got a lot of people asking me the next obvious question. So when I was in primary school, I never quite figured out what to do when we were asked to find a partner in a classroom situation. But what's changed now? How did I eventually learn that skill? My problem was that I couldn't rely on my instinct and I didn't have an intellectual understanding of the situation. Now, understanding the problem completely turns the tables. All of a sudden, my adult intellect is competing against the instinct of primary school children and it's absolutely no contest. So in this video, I thought I'd share a couple of crucial pieces of information that really help me understand the situation and that now give me the upper hand whenever I need to find a partner in a classroom situation today. In an adult setting, that's more like you're at a gym class or a dance class or something like that. Um, but essentially, the, the problem is still the same. Number one, in most cases, if you ask someone to be your partner, the only reason they would turn you down is if they already have a partner. Regardless of who you ask, they will probably be happy to be your partner, and on the off chance that they're not particularly happy, they'll probably accept anyway out of politeness, since people would need a pretty strong reason to refuse such a friendly, reasonable request. So with that in mind, number two is that the most important factor is time. The quicker you act, the more chance you have of being successful. If you don't find someone in the first one or two seconds, your chances of finding anyone at all decrease exponentially with every passing second. Because you can imagine that people are constantly making and accepting offers, making it more and more difficult for those who are left to find anybody at all. So if you have to act in the first one or two seconds after receiving the instruction to find a partner, you don't really get much choice at that stage. It's really just a matter of turning to the person next to you. This is where number three comes in. It matters where you are when that instruction is given. So if you want to have any control over the situation, you need to act before then to make sure that you just happen to be in the right place at the right time. This situation relies on what I call the why not effect. We're asked to find a partner, I turn to the person next to me, I ask, would you like to be my partner? There's no reason for, there's no reason against, we both need a partner, I happen to be standing next to you, why not? So that about covers the basics, so I might leave it there for today. There's plenty of other ways I could talk about to improve your chances and gain more control over the situation, but um, they're getting a bit general um, things to do with the best way to get someone's attention or active versus passive roles. Am I asking someone or am I inviting someone to ask me? Uh, and then other ways to deal with awkwardness because very often Strangers will be awkward when they talk to you, and so managing that is very important. Um, but I guess I'll leave them for topics for another day. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. If you're not interested, let me know, and I'll talk about something else. So thanks for watching today, and until next time, I guess. Okay, bye.